Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Stefan and today we are diving into cross-origin resource sharing or course in .NET. This is one of those topics that often confuses developers but is critical for web application security. Have you ever tried to make a request to your API and seen error like blocked by course policy? This video will help you to understand what's going behind the scenes and how to fix it. Let's get started. Before we start coding, I will explain with a simple example what course actually is and how it works. So let's see an example. I decided to throw a party for the first hundred members of the decode man community. So this is the my party. Everyone at our party will have access to free drinks, free food and access, for example, to the pool. So we have, let's say, food, have drinks and in the end we have access to the pool. But of course, as I said, not everyone can come to the party. The party is only for famous members of the community. There, for example, let's say Anna, let's say Bob and Tom. Those three names are invited to the party, of course, all other uh, 97. This is some list that we have, that I have for my party, for the people who can access. The party started and the guests started arriving. Anna has arrived the first. Anna is on the list and can enter the party. After that, Tom and Bob came together. So Tom is on the list and Tom also has access to the party. It is completely the same story for the Bob and Bob can access to the party. And now a guest comes who we don't know. It turns out to be, for example, let's say Milan. But as we can see, Milan is not on the list. So he cannot have all the benefits of the party. Milan, I wish you better luck next time. Well, in programming world, it is a similar situation. This my party entity would be some API. Those benefits of the party can be some resources. For example, Foodbee can be database, drinks is a file system, and pool is some another API. Never mind. Each of the guests that comes to the party represents applications that access API. For example, Anna is up 1, Tom is up 2, Bob is up 3, and Milan is up 4. The guest list in party world uh, tell us who can access to the party and who cannot. In API world, this is a policy that tells API who can and who cannot go through. And the error Milan got, it is the same error that you are getting when you are calling API and you are not part of the policy. Okay, let's see this in more detail. Course is a security feature implemented by web browser to control how resources can be requested from a different origin, where origin represent protocol, domain and port. If you can see, here we have a protocol, we have a domain and we have a port. So here we have different types of origin. The first one is the same origin. Uh, when you're from the same domain, protocol and port, calling the API that is on the same domain and using the same protocol and same port, that's the same origin and we don't have the problem here. The problem occurs with cross origin uh, that is why name cross origin resource shared one of the example can be a completely different domain so we have here a domain example.com and here we have another example.com and subdomain api so if i try to call from this let's say front end call this api from another example domain i will get a course policy error and another example is when we have the same protocol and we have the same domain but both applications are running on different ports for example we have a front end on port 5000 and we have an api on port 5001 those are cross origin so this front end cannot access this api because those ports are not the same this is the example most of us faced when we are implementing our applications in.net and this is for example.net server 
server and this is like let's say next.js application so let's see how does course work from the one side we have a browser let's say this is a front-end example.com domain and when browser with that domain calls a server the browser will send request headers the first and the most important header that browser will send is origin with the value of the domain that is trying to call the api on the other side the server will return the response headers uh, connected with the course the first one is access control allow origin this will tell the browser which origin is allowed to access access control allow methods which methods types are allowed to use the third one is access control allow headers so this one here allows to send authorization and content type headers so if you send some custom header it will be blocked by course policy because it's not allowed and the last one x control allow credentials which tells a browser about credentials that server expecting credentials in form of cookies or tokens there are two types of course requests the simple request which can be get post or had and can and includes the basic headers which are accept and content type in this case if browser send this request server will search for the policy that accepts that request and if access is allowed the server will request to go through if we send some other methods for example put delete or patch with some custom headers which can be for example authorization or some other our custom header in the request that browser will send we will have option method that will contain origin header the domain which is calling the api and two more headers one is access control request method and another is access control request headers this is called pre-flight request the server will check about access for this request and if pre-flight request is allowed then the browser will send the actual request for example if we are trying to get endpoint data from the api backend.com and and my origin is frontend.com so I'm allow origin frontend.com I'm also allow methods get in that case I will return 200 response which is success response okay in this simple way we have actually explained what is the course and how it works behind the scenes and now let's see how it works in the real application so here we are in the visual studio let's see what we have we have a basic weather API I didn't change almost anything i just introduce a new endpoint to get a weather for the past city and if i run this api it's running on port 7062 if i try to execute something like weather niche my hometown i can see the weather api works very well okay what else we have we have two front-end applications the first one is web application example it is a just a pure html plus javascript code and we have mobile application example it's completely the same thing it will just run on another port so let's try our example i will run my api then i will run my web application example this is my web application example and i will run mobile application example now we have web application example running on port 5501 and mobile application example running on port 5500 so if we try to get a weather for the same city i will get fail to fetch error let's see what the console tells us so in the console we are seeing exact that error that we saw many many times and that error is access to fetch at localhost weather niche from origin this api address for localhost with that port has been blocked by course policy which tells us that 
our API is not configured to allow access for this origin. Okay, let's try with a web application example also. It is the same case. How we can solve that? Let's go back to the, our API. In order to solve that problem, which is not a problem, it is a secure feature. In order to allow, for example, mobile application access uh, to the API endpoint, we will need to configure cores for this domain let's do that so we can do that by adding course into our services through dependency injection and here with the options we can add policy we want to add mobile application let's name it mobile app and we can create a policy builder which will create the rules for this policy the first thing i'm going to do is to say policy builder with origins and for the origin i will pass mobile application origin on top of that i will add with methods let's allow method get and post i will allow headers for the headers i will allow content type authorization and let's allow all credentials with this we configured our course policy for mobile application we need to tell application to use this policy app.use course with a policy name which is mobile app now when i run api and when i try to access api via mobile application i should get a response let's see so the api is up and running let's go back to the mobile application if i type niche again and if i click to get weather i will get all the necessary data why because the weather api allowed me to access content and if we take a look on a network tab in dev tools the first one is pre-flight request that is trying to see if this domain has access to api is sending options request and we have the actual api call which will re return the response if we go to the web application example uh, if we try to do the same again I will get the same error. Why? Because we didn't allow this origin to access. The protocol and the domain are the same, but as you can see, the ports are different. Let's do the same for the web application example. And for the web application, the only thing I need to do is to add another origin with another port. Let's try again. Okay. If we type niche again and try to get weather, we will get all the necessary data because now the API allowed access to this domain with this port. Okay, now there is a question. What if I, for mobile application, I just want to have get method and for the web application, I want both. So you can separate those two. I will leave this one to be mobile application and this one to be web application. So this is a web app. And for the mobile app, we want just to use get method. And for the web app, we can use both get and post methods. In this case, uh, you cannot use another policy but when you are creating something like that this mobile app will have access to only a certain endpoints for those get endpoints and for example in this case we want to allow access to this endpoint by mobile app you can just type require course and which policy you have in this way this map get can be accessed by mobile app okay this is a pretty straightforward but there is one thing you shouldn't do at all let's see that one instead using method with origins i could say allow any origin instead of this with methods i can say allow any method from the headers also allow any header and also allow any credentials so those are four methods that tells the api can allow anything trying to request the endpoint on the other API which is not good it's exposure to cross-site request forgery it tells that any website can send authenticated requests to your API so now any site can send a request to the API 
The another one is more obvious, it's a data leakage. Using allow any origin without restrictions can expose sensitive data to untrusted domains. Also, without restrictions, even internal tools or partners can accidentally misuse your API in ways you don't intend and also security breaches. So be aware where you set up course policies in this way. That's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, share it with your developer friends and don't forget to subscribe. Did you have a problems with course? Did you find this explanation useful? Let me know in the comments. See you in the next video. Dream big.